All right, hello everyone. Welcome to week five. That's of time, async ladder series. Corinth versus Technu versus Dipwood. These are just randomly selected for the most part. I'm going to let in our uh, my co-commentator, Silver Neo, is here joining me today. Silver Neo, hello. Hey, how's everything going? Good, man. Uh, welcome to Jets of Time, Ladder Race. Thank you for uh, joining me today. It's going to be fun, I think. Oh, yeah, it's always fun. Um, I guess just a couple of basic things to point out would be flag set. It's boss randomizer, randomized text. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that as far, but like, let's just get started. No, I, what are we waiting for? I think we're waiting on you. Yeah, that's right. Start off. And we're off. Yeah, it looks like Robo and Mega start off. Yeah, that's a bit of a hmm. But not terrible. One thing I do like about you're not gonna worry about having to learn magic from Ekio. Right. They end up someone ends up grabbing Ayla, they're good to go. Yeah, if Ayla's the third char the third character up here, it's like you know, I unless you actually need Marl or the Prism Shard quest. Yeah, you could just be good. See what happens. Just to see how just have to wait to see how this all starts out. So the first part of this run, typically you're just uh, doing a little bit of shopping. You want to find, you know, some of your basic needs. Revive, shelter, tonics. Uh, you don't want to be stuck with none of those things. Uh, unless you're going to... If you, unless you're planning on picking up a lot of chests to, that will give you a chance to get those items. Uh, no, I'd recommend every player to do your shopping early. Get it out of the Hopefully you don't have to visit the fair. Although the fair has everything you need, uh, you can check any other smaller shops. That's what I do. I don't know. Maybe just just go to the fair. I don't know. So it's better. It, it looks like Prism Shards at Snail Shop. And okay. We see Corinth taking the Moon Blizzard approach and going down in the desert. Yeah. Now this is. You can see, like, the quality of the items he's picked. Mermaid cap. The, the chests down there are quite nifty. I recommend, if you can learn a couple of these monster skips, don't have to engage in combat. It'd be a good way to open up any run. Yeah, welcome, everyone, to the uh, chat. Looks like Zilfer taking the tools check. See what we're getting here. Oh, this is a big check. And and sword. Ooh. A little rough. Ooh. Well, it's nicer seeing that somewhere in the beginning than halfway through your run. Yeah, it, it can be. I mean... It'd be even nicer if he had frog already, had frog already, um, simply because you need frog to even make use of the bent sword and the bent hilt in the first place. So he's still, you know, got one out of three requirement. And we're about to see our third character over on Tipwood's screen, and it's Luca. 
Ooh, Luca Robo. Very nice matchup damage wise. Speed wise, he'll fall a bit behind maybe. Yeah, it kind of adds up with that. What is it called? Dev Bomb? Yeah, double V Bomb. Very, very strong. You have to learn a little bit of where to place Robo in fights so that it hits all enemies. But it doesn't take long to learn, and it's so powerful. But uh, I, haven't, I, haven't watched, I haven't watched a ton of Dipwood's runs lately. Don't know what he prefers. If he's going to go for speedy characters or if he's going to go for... We'll just have to... And see, I've been out of the loop as well for quite a while, so I don't know uh, how things have developed over the past oh, six, seven months. Yeah, I embarrassingly sort of joined the ladder, played the first couple of races, and I think I forfeited every seat. I, know. I just don't. I haven't practiced. I, uh, it's funny where I'm even doing commentary because probably things I'm going to miss <laughs> that have to do with boss rando and stuff. But that's mostly what I'm... I haven't practiced much of the boss rando. I begged for it for a couple years there, whatever. Now it's finally here and, and it's hard, but it's satisfying. Hey, I remember when you were begging for the boss rando to happen and everything and I'm sitting in the back going, ah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it actually it, turned out quite well. It did turn out really good, and it really it took the effort of a lot of community members who have, you know, contributed code to this game. Have helped out, out a lot. So, Anski couldn't have done it all on his own. And... and Dipwood dips out of Cathedral. No, did he... Uh... Did he check the boss there, or did he just leap? He just... I think he just did left side. Okay, okay. And got the Naga item and dipped out. It would appear that he's ahead now, because everyone else is fighting the Naga at the same time. <laughs> yeah. But... Well, everyone else went for the Bent Sword, and he did not. wondering the strategy of doing this market fight after you've already gotten your third character. Yeah, and after... Oh, well, the silver stud dropped that. But you can't expect right. that, but... That fight is... Well, he did level up a bit, so... I mean, it's a, yeah, great, got, it's a great fight to yeah. do if you're level one and it's the absolute first encounter in the game, because it does have an RNG sequence that you can sort of manipulate to your favor and sort of always win. Um... But if you yeah, go, it's a second attack. but if you go there late, it's like you lose that RNG. But also, he is higher level. But yeah, I wonder. That's that is an interesting play. Take a note. Right, everybody gained at least one level and five tech points. You do right, get the five. Oh, I can... Dipwood talking to the gravestone. Still, that raises the question, how did Toma die? He probably just fell. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> now we got Zelfer heading up. Back right here. Gonna see who spawns at. Sometimes it could be just fine. Sometimes it can be a nightmare and you have Right, last time I played a seed, I think it turned out to be Boss Golem. Uh, he's good, right? Because he can, he'll just run away, I think. If you don't do anything, he'll just eventually run. But if you run into someone like Flea, really deadly. Does Boss Golem keep the script as if he was on the Blackbird? 
I believe. Yeah, away? I believe so. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I did not know. I I, I consider Golem boss encounter in in the boss rando to be a free, it's like a free fight. It's a free token. You pass for free because like, no matter where you encounter him, no matter what level you are, what gear you have, you win. Alternatively, you can kill him. I think you will get experience. Right, I think I've done that every time. <laughs> I never do you run away. I, I, I completely forgot because it's been so long since we've done Blackbird. I know. Because of the rando. Yeah. Yeah, no real, really no reason to have Blackbird in Jet. I understand why. <laughs> it's also like the worst part of the vanilla game anyway. <laughs> It was interesting. It wasn't the worst, as far as I'm concerned. It's a crucial part of the story, and fighting Dalton on the upgraded Epoch is obviously awesome. But, you know, I'm sure everyone agrees, like, when you get thrown into the Blackbird, you have to run around and find your gear. It's horrible. But you have Ayla. True. Alright, we're about to see what Yakra is going to spawn into. Embarrassingly, while I did introductions, I did don't remember if I said Zudoark has joined us for tracking, but it does say so right on the screen there. But we want to shout him out and give him a thank. Oh man, Super Slash. That's a little ugly. Could be ugly. We'll see how he how he hits. A little heavy like a truck. Yeah, a little heavy. <laughs> and he's gonna have about a thousand hit points, give or take. Ooh, Luca down. This is a bit of a nasty encounter. I think you can get through this, but. It's one of the worst ones I think you could probably take. Oh. Robo will live through that. Not the next one. Two HP left on Robo. Oh, we have Tech News starting the... Uh, no. Yeah, I bet he was real happy to see that. Yeah. It looks like he's... He should be close to death here. Meg is benefiting there from his armor that he starts with, which is better than anyone else. I don't, I don't think it's so much the amount of hit points he has, more at the fact that he hits you for 120. Yeah. At least... He is getting. He was getting some decent damage output out of Robo there. Like, I didn't see him pick up a, a weapon for him. He must have though. If you go in there with, you know, low damage output, and like, yeah. Uh, looks like uh, Zilfer got through it. Good job there. Had him and sweating through it. And as we pay for Tekkenu and Corinth, hopefully they get through this fight unscathed, relatively unscathed. It would uh, turn into Hecran here. Just yeah, he using Flame Talk. Different... He seems to, have, yeah, he seems to have taken a different approach to this. Yeah. I we'll see if it pays off. And we're down the robo on Technu, and he takes a reset. Oh, and it looks like he picked up Ayla. 
after Yakra there. That's right. All right. Yeah, see Tech New taking taking a loss there and and saying, you know what? Not right now. I'm back with this. <laughs> and this I is, can't blame him. Yeah, this is something that can happen now. Boss ramp. Gotta be careful, and maybe you know, maybe that's part of dip. I might have to turn around, and I don't want that. I don't want that to happen at all. Won't start. Maybe that's what he thought. And Corinth makes the small gauntlet. And he's about to get rewarded with Ayla. Yeah, Hecran Cave can be a little bit slow if you don't have a full AoE magic attack, but Dipwood's uh, making this work with just Flame Toss alone. Love it. And there's no help with Magus' first um, tech either. It's going to be anti-life. I'm sure his plan, though, here... Get Magus' techs going, because... Crown's a great place to come to do that. Oh, he did get fire there. That's a little bit of an upgrade from Flame Toss. Just a little bit, but uh, Flame Toss seems to be doing the trick. A little bit brutal on the tech roll. Ah. Getting the Grand Leon. Grand Leon and a reset. Which I understand completely. Because, right, with no frog, there's no point. You know, it, Grand Leon's a little bit of a new addition. And it's not that new anymore, but in previous versions of Jets, that would have been called the Tools. That's how you uh, start the Northern Ruins quest. and uh, But now you can also wear it Frog's Best Sword. I think we all enjoyed that addition. Oh, very much. Having said that, again, we don't have Frog. We don't know where he could be anywhere else in the game right now. And, you know. Come back for it. Same with that, that sword piece. They unfortunately, got. We'll see, we'll see what uh, drops off Hecran here, or whoever Hecran happens to randomly spawn as. Uh... Otherwise, we're going to be looking at Desert and Denodoro, other ch Cave. Quick save uh, before we find out which boss Hecran's going to be. Uh, I'm always excited to see reveals. Ooh, Isbel. Uh, without lightning, he does have lightning now. Great. That's awesome. Nice. Well, you, you just need a lightning spell of some kind to stun Nizbul. He will eat the, you know, he'll release the lightning as a counterattack after a couple of turns, but in my opinion, it's still better than standing around and eating his physical. Right. Also, it will allow his robo physical attack. Oh, and the anti-life. Oh, Meg is down. Oh, 
<laughs> that did a metric ton of damage compared to their level right now, though. That should be it from this build. Two of those? Yep. Isbel down and a green dream drops. That's a wonderful compliment to the anti life utilization. The game was like, you want to use anti life? Just use the green dream too, please. Uh, quick check at yeah, Luca's dad. Gate key. All right, there we go. That's wonderful. That'll bring up prehistory and specio. Dipwood going right for it. Personally, I really like an early gate even more than an early pendant. Even though pendant will lead to more key item unlocks. I don't know why. Gate key bay. Yeah, it's your early god tier items in Reptite layer that you like. Yeah, it looks like Zilpers are our second one to get out of Hecron's cave. He's about to go get his gay key. <laughs> Welcome, Angrel. And everyone else who has come since I welcome. So yeah, Zelfer just I guess, doing a bit of shopping here before he... Oh. Looks like Dipwood's gonna go try to go for the next character. Zeffler making a desert check. Taking the same strategy using anti life. Works pretty well. And who do we have? We're Chrono. I always like seeing Chrono. As long as I can find a weapon for him. Yeah, as long as you have a good weapon for Chrono, he's a great addition.
I welcome Keat Ketchum. Zeffler's making, uh, taking the experience gains from these fights. I usually do the same thing. It's good experience and he gets a power ring out of it even. Skipwood's about to do the Specchio War Dance. I feel like, you know, we've said these things a million times, but why not repeat ourselves? You do need to visit Specchio to unlock past your first three deck. That would go, on in his, in this case, it's for Luca and Chrono. Magus, does, uh, Magus, Robo, Ayla, doesn't matter. We mentioned that a little bit earlier. But if you're going to use Luca, you're going to want to use her magic. Now, as far as the boss Rando, will Red and Knight always be there in the desert? I believe so. <laughs> Dip with taking the Specchio fight. Oh, I don't see that very often. Three part, yeah, that's what I thought. Three part bosses are still not shuffled, but two parts are now in the mix. At first, it was only one part bosses, like, only have a single thing to them. So, like, that would be interesting if they could get three parters in here, like, because you could, they fight a uh, Guardian here instead of uh, Retinite and vice versa. That'd be kind of cool. But then it's like, you know, Mother Brain is technically four parts. Couldn't be mixed in, maybe? I don't know. Nerds do it, but they hack the game and they make... And they do a good job doing it. Hazard Gale, the yeah. whole boss in Cathedral. Wouldn't that be lovely? <laughs> the next edition will be adding singularity to the boss rando, where you always see the same boss. Kind of like you do in ALTTPR. That could get interesting and annoying at the same time. Corinth just did like kind of a cool little trick that I to do as well. Uh, instead of walking down the Mystic Mountains ice, you can just travel to travel back to 1080 and hop in the and then go to the 65 million a little bit quicker. Dipwood now entering at night fight which it looks like uh, the pendant dropped from didn't actually catch that but it's on Zelfer's tracker so this is going to be exciting a lot of options Zeffler making the bridge check and we got Corinth over in Reptite Lair
Man, he's taking the quick reset. So this is going to be kind of interesting. So Corinth is doing uh, Reptite Light while Zelfer is heading into the future. Uh, we're going to see what pays off and what doesn't here. Because we, we've yet to find anything like a clone, a trigger, a ruby knife, dreamstone. We need those things really badly. Oh yeah, any sign of a go mode is eluding us at the moment. But we are only 30 minutes in, so there's still plenty of time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's kind of funny how this is shaping up. It got, like, I, Dipwood was felt ahead for a while there, and now Zelfer's the first one into the field. Presumably, as long as he Kills Dragon Tank should be no problem at all with the level he's at. Very interesting. Oh, we have Dalton. Dalton, Dalton Plus. This could be a fairly frustrating fight depending on his 8 buff that he'll get. Uh, gonna be a little bit high here. A little on par with what he normally would have. It it can be a real pain if you say, if you go to where the Golem Twins are and they get two Dalton Plus. Now that can actually become a real challenge. Because they're gonna have like 10,000 or something. Like crazy. Maybe not that much, but don't quote me. Yeah, that's when I decided to take a different go mode route. Maybe it just felt. Pay no attention to the time paradox on Dipwood screen. So here's a question, Procky. I think it was you who figured out a more constant way of doing the dragon tank skip. Oh Something no! About moving slowly. No, I never found anything. And I've done it a few times, maybe six, I think. But like I never consistent was the word I was looking for. There's nothing consistent in any of my methodology. Same goes for anyone else who's tried it. They might have, like, pulled it off a couple times. But nothing adds up. I have ideas. I have ideas about what could cause it. And I think it has to do with, like, right here where Zelfer's collecting his party. You can, if you run up and through the stairs, and you exit the screen before that third character joins you, I think that has something to do with it. I don't know. That's my... See, it's not solid or consistent. But it, what it what can happen here is you can just fully skip the Dragon Tank fight. It'll start glitching out, and it'll look crazy. Or you can completely ditch Magus like one of our friends did. I've also seen that be a result. And also, that's a little further evident. It has something to do with leaving that character behind. But if you don't do something perfectly correct, you just lose them forever. We're referring to Taco. It's Taco Hero during a race. He, <laughs> the he, Taco skip. He tried doing a, the Dragon Tank skip or whatever. Permanently lost Magus from his team for the rest of the game. <laughs> And man, that that was way early on too. Yeah. 
Also, I haven't seen one done in the new version of Jets of Time. So, for all we know, it could be no longer possible. I don't know. Have to keep trying. But yeah, it, it must have something to do with the fact that in vanilla, you have two characters scripted to just have two. It's Luca and Chrono. And you have three where you're supposed to have two. The game is known to glitch out in all kinds of areas. That has something to do with it. All right, looks like Zilfer making it to the future. Yeah, and Dipwood decided to go to go Denodoro before he hit the future. So I wonder if this is gonna pay off. If he finds like especially if he finds clone or the trigger, this is gonna be a huge payoff for Right. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, that's an interesting point, Cthulhu. And I see magic tabs are adding three per tab. That's not bad at all. I, I would definitely take that if I'm using Luca or Magus. Or heck, even Robo. You can really benefit from magic. It will actually increase the amount he heals for as well, so you can make his heal beam do a lot. Give him magic. And we have Technu taking the same strategy up to Nidoro. Yeah, we're going to be able to see early if uh, Technu is doing the right thing here or not. So... Have my fingers crossed for both of them. And we have Nisbel too. That's not awful, because uh, now if you find Nisbel too and you're underprepared, they are actually. Fighting the real Nisbel too. He's gonna have a ton of hit points, do more damage, but he's a little bit downscale due to being where Mass Immune is supposed to be. So he's just gonna have slightly less hit points than usual, and it just he might be a little easier to deal with than you think. Right, and they're stacked with tech. I mean lightning to slash. Yeah, and right here and now is already lost his defense. It's a little bit different with Nisbel 2 than Nisbel 1. With Nisbel 1, you obviously shock with lightning, and Nisbel loses his defense for a couple of turns until he counterattacks. Uh, with Nisbel 2, you have to hit him a few times with lightning, and then he will release the electricity, and then his defense is lowered. So at that point, you can start hammering away. And Zeffler downs Guardian. Yeah, it looks like he's got that green dream on, though. So that anti-life is just a perfect strat. You have Green Dream. And I do believe that anti-life was created to replace Black Hole, which is a terrible skill that nobody used and it was glitchy. Oh, it was terribly glitchy. Got some good text for that fight. Yeah, that a nice bonus act. I've noticed that in boss randomizer, you get a 
lot of tech from a lot of the fights. It's higher than a non-boss rank. Alfred finds a tabin suit, it looks And another ruby armor. So in case he has to do some sun, he's pretty ready for it. Yeah, he's got action for that fire now. But he's not using Luca. I wonder if he might change his mind a little bit here. We'll see. I, I might if I had a plus three to speed armor for it. Right. It's got the fire protection on it. Yeah, it has... Good defense, too. She's pretty squishy, but that's a, it's a heck of a lot better than having just a tab in. And Dipwood found a Dreamstone. Yeah, pretty good tier weapons in there. Yeah. Items from those chests. I don't usually go in there for gear, but I I know a lot of our racers do, and man, you can just see it pick off right there. I thought for a second Dipwood was going to make his way to Tyranno later with the Dreamstone. I wonder if he's considering not doing the ocean pout something i don't know i mean, I'd, it, personally i'd rather fight zeal 2 at the end of a race than lavos lavos is just oh, definitely you have the right team he's not that bad but he also has a lot of rng Zeal 2 just doesn't have Zeal 2 if you're underprepared as well he's gonna slap you into you know Ever the next universe. See where he, we'll see where he's going with this. Yeah, I do too. And when I started playing Jets, we avoided Black Omen. It was kind of funny to think back and. <laughs> oh, the Black Omen, it takes so long, and over time we all practiced the skips a lot. It just got faster and faster and faster. Yeah, I got faster for some of y'all. <laughs> well, now I'm st I get slower and slower now. That's uh must be getting old all of a sudden. Something happened. Oh, Zephyr taking the Geno Dome run. good place to go for high tier items yeah and i do believe he has had success in the past doing a geno dome run early uh, you know it's not super early but it's pretty early most right, it's not as early as i've seen it done before but it, most that, players will like leave risky. it most players will leave it until the absolute similar to mount yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm not going to remember all the details perfectly, but I, there was a race where Zelfer, like, got an early pendant, and then the second he got to the future, it was like 20 minutes into the race or something, and he just hit Genodome first, leveled up like crazy, and then just got an awesome key item there early and took took the race away. So, you know. I remember that one. I, I... Sometimes Genodome. Everybody was just... It, both everybody on comms was like, wait, what? 
No, what? And he pulled it off. Yeah. And the extra levels paid off as well. I think after we all saw that, players started doing Geno earlier and earlier. And I gotta say, it's not the worst idea. Even Mount Wo is the same. It's like, takes a bit of a long time. Yeah. But you get a crazy experience in Tech Point. And great chest drop. Technu going for Tyrannal Lair. It looks like Zeffler found the jerky somewhere. I can't, I, I don't remember where he got that. Oh, it must have come from a Guardian. Yeah, yeah, it must have been. Funny, I've missed a lot of the key item drop <laughs> during this race. I'm doing a bad job, commentator. But Judo Arc's on top of it, helping us out. Tekken taking Robo to jail? Now that I don't see often. Oh. But yeah, it looks like, yeah, like we said, he, no he noped out of uh, Tyranno. Head to the future? Probably the right choice. Can't argue that. Yeah, what, but, Technu, what if the, what if the ruby knife was on Mount Woe? <laughs> Would have been an amazing seed. No, that's the joke. No one would ever think that or want to do that. But what what have we not seen now? Son of Sun? Yeah, and and Mother Brain. Sun. factory would just still be the same yep Yeah, maybe if upping the quality of the chest drops on Mount Wo would make it more enticing of an option. Nice. Conveyor skip Elfer there. Oh, nice. You know, there's no better feeling than pulling off like a perfect Geno Dome. Getting all of those skips correct. And having Mr. Robo for you. And that speed tab, it's just so nice. Technu making his way to Dragon Tank. Oh, looks like Zelfer's gonna hold on to those speed tabs. I don't know if he's finding some kind of a team change at some point here. 
He's not going to need the extra speed here. He's going to be able to take care of these turrets. We're doing some shopping, maxing out on ethers and grabbing some shelters. Okay, Dipwood's heading back to the... Well, he's got the ruby knife now. Oh, he got the ruby knife. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He's got go mode. <laughs> we got a black omen coming. Ocean Palace, then. Yeah, my bad. And like I said, it has been a while. I'm sure we'll see a uh, black omen as well. Well, maybe not. Uh... Actually, we don't have a clone or a trigger found, but we do have some checks coming up in the future that Dipwood did not take, so we'll see what they are. Like what Zelfler's getting into right here with Geno Dome, Mother Brain. I didn't see which character was down in uh, Frog's Hobble. No, no, I'm not sure if anyone checked, come to think of it. But we haven't seen... Well, we haven't seen the other piece of the, of the Bent Hilt. And we haven't seen the Prism Shard either. Prism Shard was at Snail Shop. Oh, sorry, you're right, it was at Snail Shop. But we haven't seen Marl. And we haven't seen anyone go looking for her. So obviously no one's interested. A Marl is in Frogsboro? Okay. Well, that technically is a another uh you know option that's open that no one's taking thinking about at all, but it's there. That'll put frog and proto on there? Oh except you would need frog first to get the sword made to get out of the it just it sounds like a lot of work for a check that you're just not gonna do unless you have Right. Tip would get in the skips in. Those aren't easy to do. Right. Don't so we got. Tom I actually remember. We see Thomas pop on uh, Belfer. That's what we have at the Geno Dome. I wonder if he's just going to go clear Giant's Claw really quick. Right on top of the grave here. I think the reason the skips in Tyrone Layer are so difficult, at least for me, is because a lot of these areas look kind of the same, but the skips are going to be different. Well, Son of Sun is a pretty quick fight. Typically. Ooh, especially if you have that red absorb on. Right. Kind of cheeses the fight. It's still, I think it still matters more how effectively you use those flames to hit. Like, if you get unlucky and you, you have to, like, Try a few times to find the right flame. It just slows the whole thing down. Even if you have red. Or even if you don't. You just want the fight to go fast. I 
We got Atropos over on Tipwood's screen. The fight seems to be going okay. Magus has used two anti-lives. And it looks like probably a third one coming up. That's a, that's a good combination of characters and strategy there. Just life with Chrono and then anti-life, life, anti-life, life, anti-life. Anti -life. See that going a long way when, when it counts. It's mostly because life will, you know, uh, heal Chrono, or it'll heal whoever Chrono is reviving as well. So it's not like... Using bent a robot. Held at son of sun. Oh, bent held at son of sun. Okay, and what frog would be a proto? Dome or oh, we didn't check Dactyl's nest. Did Dactyl's nest was Chrono, wasn't it? Oh, you... yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So that does Dipwood, leave frog. It puts the only one who checked there. Yeah, so Frog would be a proto. Or he's at least going to get Marl here. Okay. Seems Atropos puts up a decent fight, huh? Yeah, she sure can. Uh, she has all kinds of, you know, deadly attacks. Robo would normally use, I think, area bomb, and she can heal herself as well, which is annoying. Oh, nice. I didn't notice a wonder shot drop, but I see it on Luca now. And you should never have to use it. To be honest, you should always be using Luca's magic, but you get the opportunity. Use that wonder shot. Always. But it's always fun to take a Gradius into the Sun Sun fight. I, I love this fight here <laughs> um, on Zelfer's <laughs> screen. Yakra is sticking out of the Rust Tyrannos. Oh, he's just crawling. His head is on a string or something. It's a terrifying monster. This is this is shaping up to be pretty interesting. Delfer downed. We got the Robo's Ribbon. That is not great. It's it's pretty good, but it's not great. It's a it's a great accessory. Well, to, you can slap it on Robo. He's going to get some serious bonuses to his character, but it will not give you any kind of advancement in the seed. And at this point, we're definitely looking for go mode. Dipwood's up to Black Tyranno now.
Oh, I'm trying to use anti-life while Black Tyranno still has his shield up. Hits for 75. Had to try it though, huh, Zephyr? Or Dipwood? <laughs> I wonder. Anyway, here. Third. Technu's going to find Frog up here, and hopefully be a lot happier about that. Technu with the second go mode. Yeah, if that's the path he plans to take, uh, him the best of luck. It's going to be a little bit long, maybe, especially because we already have to put here at the black top. But but you know, it's it it is smart to take the first go mode that you perceive available to you it should always be done you know we've seen that win races in the past you don't want to do Megas castle but it can win a race if you do i mean it would be the longest of the gomos wouldn't it it can be well not now that you don't have to get the ruby knife as well I think that, that helped balance it out. Interesting to see if uh, Zephyr takes the same strategy so now that he's found Frog as well. Yeah, Tyranno Layer can be a bit of a pain. Hey, Dipwood. Yes, especially when um, Anti Life hits for 75. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I, I hope you had a good stream, Dipwood. I, I bumped into you earlier while I was looking for videos. And I was, I'm happy to see you here. So welcome. I figured you were just wondering if it bypassed the shield or not. Because I didn't know either. Well, some, some spells do, to be fair. Uh, I think we know tailspin? that it Tailspin does, and I think Fire Whirl works as well. It might buff the damage of Tailspin up a bit. There's a, uh, oh, there's another one. I can't remember right now, but we we know that anti life is is dark. The uh, dark magics. We know that won't. Fire world doesn't bypass it. Okay, I thought it did for some. There's there is another spell that does. I can't remember right now. Yeah, I thought the tailspin part did, and it might have gotten multiplied a little bit, but 
It's been a while. It's been a while. I should test that next time I play just to make absolutely sure. Because if it also does, you can. Okay. I mean, I just figured if it did a little bit of fire damage, it might like negate the whole effect. That happens sometimes. So Zelfer is taking that Magus Castle route. And, uh,. Tech News going for that Grand Leon. That's a sick move as well. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. You're going to have Frog in your party? You better give him that Grand Leon. And the Hero Medal if you can come across it. That's right. Yeah, the Hero Medal has been buffed. It will give you, what, barrier, shield, and prism specs effect? That's pretty amazing. And if you still go back and do the runes, can't you buff the Leon even further? No, it won't buff the Leon further, but it will uh, buff Frog. So it will give him 2 speed and 10 power. It can still be pretty worth it. But not in a race. Challenge accepted. I think if you were doing a, what is it, a Legacy of Cyrus event or, or something like that, where you actually do have to visit the Northern Ruins, uh, well, then it's acquired, but such a fun part of the randomizer that barely utilized, and I'm a big fan. Oh, definitely. Technu, uh, looks like he took out the bottom of Giga Mutant here. I don't know if that's going to bite him in the butt, but luckily he's going to have pretty low hit points. He's, he's down. Grand, the Grand Leon is his, and he's free to advance now. Yeah, there's a, you know, there's a couple little different categories, obviously, that you can play. A lot of, a lot of the, our viewers have seen them, like Lost Worlds Plus and Legacy of Cyrus, and there's a couple others, but there, there's, it's fun just because it shows off parts of the game that are playable, but never really utilized. Chrono Sanity, yeah, there we go. I'm a big fan of Chrono Sanity. I love Chrono Sanity. I guess it didn't make it into the standard race flags. We're not seeing it here, but it would be if people voted better. That's okay. Basically, that makes it a full key sanity mode. You know, the key items could be found in any chat, basically, in the game. Yeah, we call that Hundo Fundo. Hundo Fundo. It's funny because it can it can result in the longest seeds you've ever played, but it also has the potential of causing the shortest seeds anyone's ever played. Just depending on where those key items fall in those chests. So Zelfer's got here. Uh pretty random, kinda. Tech Techno at the ruins. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Right? Did not expect that. After all this time, you're saying, oh, it doesn't happen in races. Yeah. Da da da. <laughs> Dipwood <it> is offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's a. Uh, it's not something I would recommend if you want to have a good time, but if you want to have a good time, on the other hand, it could be quite fun. Also, it would increase your chances of defeating Lavos and getting through Mega's Castle. Right. Which is a good thing. Oh, yeah, we have Dipwood just... Steaming forward freight train here. He's in Ocean Palace already. It's, we're one hour and nine minutes in. Holy moly. Gone with Luca, Megas, and Chrono. I'd, I'd say that's a pretty strong team. Not out of, a out lot of choices. Of healing, though. No, there is not a lot of healing, but he has... I mean, he does have life. Robo would have been expensive, I guess, to maintain with speed. Other factors, but... Huh, it, this is interesting. Yeah, I'd like to have healing on my team. Really do. Right, and I usually go with Frog because of his heal is OP. But I mean, Especially like it, pop it, a couple of magic tabs in him. It could totally be argued that he he's ahead because he didn't go out of his way to a lot of those character checks that are there's here out. They they went and got, you know, Marl and Frog and and Ayla and he didn't even get Ayla. That was the Yakra. That was Yakra, right? So he's still a little bit ahead because of that. Brilliant. And we see Golem Boss. Yeah, I'd say in a situation like this, there's no reason not to kill him. You're gonna be able to dole out the damage you need. But it still is a free fight, even if you attack. Technu taking another trip inside the ruins. Here we go. Here's our frog upgrade. He's going to get, a, yeah, two speed and, and attack. It should be. And then we'll see him uh, head off. Frog. Now Zelfer with those two bosses down, normally flee and slap. Ready to uh, continue on into Agus Cast. Number of fight fight gauntlets here. He can run from these technically. It looks like he is. Um That'll make Magus Castle go a lot faster. If you actually do every skip in Magus Castle, way less pain. Yeah, it's just about learning them, though. Yes, it takes practice. The, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> I think the only check that we're not going to see is going to be um, that uh, the hideout. Yeah. Well, there's no key items in there, but there are some tier chests in there.
So right now, Dipwood is doing a pretty classic grind session. Uh, a lot of the people refer to this as the stairs grind. And as you can see, he's just getting oodles of experience and tech points. And, uh, you know, ooh. What if, what, what, which one of Luca's guns cast stop? Yeah, it's going to be Shockwave. Oh, shockwave. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, I thought Shockwave cast K. Never mind. Cool. That's awesome. Stop is so good. <laughs> but anyway, like that he's going to grind up here. Like I was saying, he's going to grind up here. You probably... Probably going to be looking for some tech. I don't know if levels are going to be his main concern. Yeah, but he's still missing a couple of important techs here. Corinth just picked up Frog. So I wonder if he's going to go forge the Mazamun. And it looks like it. I can see that Zelfer has definitely been practicing his Magus Castle skips. He's already done quite a few here. Yep, he knows exactly how to get a staircase uh, without triggering any of these. And it wow, honestly that is impressive. doesn't take too much practice, but it is kind of like learning a bicycle. Once you, you know, get it, you shouldn't fall off ever again. Unless you're like Procky and you actually forgot how to ride the bicycle. I'm out. But, but let's forgot that's, where you put the bicycle. That's a topic for another stream. But I could lie and say that I've suffered a head injury. So I will say that. That's exactly what happened. What's a bicycle? <laughs> oh, Corinth is also headed into Magus Castle here. Wow. I'm... Okay, sorry. Where was Ruby Knife? Ruby Knife was that Reptite. Ah. I thought Corinth did Reptite. Right. Did he not finish that that fight? Yeah. He did twice, but never got home. Never actually. Oh, my. The Dalton fight must have got him. It's He's a tough cookie, that Dalton Plus, I'll tell you. Dipwood is still grinding here. He's going to come out very strong at the end of this grind. And the, our other racers, who have all gone to Mega's Castle, uh, they're, they're grinding. In there. Here we have Zelfer uh, coming right up now. Magus fight very soon. Of course, he has to take care of Ozzy here, and it'll be interesting to see actually what these switches drop because you, it's pretty good. I've seen a rainbow drop off each one of them before. 
Too bad you can't sell them. Speed tab. Speed tab charm. Oh Ooh. my god. Speed tab and a speed belt. That's hilarious. Wow. Now, Zelfer is so smart here to use charm on them to kill them. I, I have to say. It worked. I didn't. I, well, I, someone told me once, but I never did it before. But, oh, my God, I'm doing it every time now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, having having dark matter and flare as your last deck, it reminds me of the old days before Tech Rando. No, yeah. so, but in those days, you would, uh, and this is probably roughly what Dipwood's trying. You grind down to until until you need about four hundred and fifty tech points to learn flare or dark matter. And then you will get 450 tech points from the elevator and the golem twin fight. Ooh, it is boss roundo. Don't know if you can rely on that tech point count precisely. Thank you, thank you so much, Zudo, for uh, for dropping by and helping out. Really helped. If anyone's interested in helping out in future streams, just uh, ask on the Discord and, you know, let you know. You can click buttons. Yeah, it looks like Tidwood's... Yeah, I would have a hard time between those two items as well. I'm starting to understand more and more about what, like, the benefits of using anti-life. I, mean, I don't know if it's, if it's still for me... And we have Luca standing in for Magus. Yeah, that means they're going to be facing, what, air as the ultimate attack? I was a little confused with anti-life sometimes, like... Uh, actually, during Lavos, you have to do some single target damage. Ah, uh, hard to say. Early on, it can be great because you might not have dark matter yet. Once you have dark matter, probably going to use that a lot more. But then, yeah, especially Lavos. Single target attack. That's awesome. boss fights going on just waiting to see how these turn out Corinth making it through their boss fight yeah Zelfer's really dealing out the damage here doing a great job he's already got Magus down to past half health at 
Magus does have two phases. Once you get him down to half health, he'll change the way he acts, so you can tell. He's no longer counter-attacking you. And yes, he'll start going into this phase. Magus risks casting a spell. And then he'll hit you with a really strong spell. And out comes the anti -lives. And he's dead. Magus is down. I mean, Luca, Magus, what? Luca's... Luke? This dreaded elevator fight over on Tipwood screen. It's my most hated fight in the game. Yeah, there's a couple of ways around it. Like if you had a he, if he picked up Ayla, he would be having a much better time right now. Just but only for this exact screen. He's been having really good success with the team so far. So I don't want to criticize that. But Ayla's Dino Tail or Frog's Frog Squad or Falcon Hit, they're all full screen physical attacks and they will all one hit wipe that screen. Otherwise, it's manageable for the most part, but a little bit of a pain. I like Dipwood's doing a really good job so far here of these skips. This is a beautiful, I'm going to say a three part skip. That will get you past those scout fights. Yeah, I can't do the scout skip either. And I have tried over and over and over. <laughs> Now the chest that Dipwood just picked up can often be great. Looks like he just got an Aeon suit. You know, picking it up in the vanilla game, you're like, yeah, but it's not really used much in this rando. Now, once you find, you know, in many cases, it, wearing like a black vest can be the best armor you find. having any magic absorb. Uh, we have a double mass immune. It'd be a little painful. What's not expecting that? <laughs> oh, having said that, that fire sword, was that fire sword too? Yeah. That's, that's doing a lot of damage. This is not going to take long at all. Absolutely not. Oh, they are slapping a little hard there, but... No problem at all for Dipwood. He's going to head on now to the uh, Lavo Shell. He's hey, getting nice very good. Nice job with that. Yeah. Incredible, incredible play. Meanwhile, we do have Zelfer here on the first first goal. So soon he will be down in the Ocean Palace. Really not that far behind Dipwood at all. Uh, this could depend a lot on whether Dipwood has a good or bad Lavos fight. But I think he's going to power through the gauntlet. Going to get Lavos shell and first fit. Uh, 
final Lavos, whatever we call it. <laughs> but the core Lavos could really mess him up. Looks like it looks like Technu took one fall down into the uh, Ozzy's basement or whatever it's called. But hopefully he doesn't take another fall. Otherwise, I'll definitely make fun of him. <laughs> Just another one of those things that requires a little bit of practice. You know, uh, use your emulator, um, make a save state. And just play it over and over for an hour. Once you get it, unless you're like me, you'll never forget. And dip it up to the first Lavos fight. <laughs> okay, two falls. Three falls. <laughs> I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Right, right. And I've done worse. I mean, I've seen worse on my own stream. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I've seen worse on your stream, too. <laughs> oh, that bird just would not move for that last pixel. Frustrating. Corinth also down in the Aussie's basement or whatever here. Now that could be, again, could be an intentional fall. <laughs> Hashtag jerkbird. No, he's fine. Now that's a good place to actually put that intentional fall. Now Corinth is going to head up to Gips do. He has Magus go. Lucas fight those. Dipwood's just headed straight to left. He's done with this. But again, now we're starting this Lavos fight. He's going to be taking a ton of damage here. And again, we're, we were talking about healing. His team doesn't have it. Unless he, use la he uses Lapis or something like that. Yeah, he did stock up on a few Lapis before he went into Tyranno later. I don't know, he didn't heal all that. He's just going all out. Taking the deaths. Oh, those boomerangs hurt. Yeah. Oh, especially Luca, so squishy. Of course, he does have life. I mean, that, and that is a pretty legitimate healing asset for your team. You're gonna heal her as well as revive her. Now he's doing 300 heal on those life. Just has to get rid of that left arm before it throws another. Dicey. Ever. A little bit of overkill on that last sword, uh, sword world two. Yeah, I might do the same thing though. <laughs> I want you gone now. Oh, we're looking at sleep as a. Uh, uh, so that will be annoying. It's annoying, but it's not game ending or anything.
Yeah, just doing fantastic damage with that Confuse. This part of Lavos has about 10,000 HP, I believe. Maybe exactly 10,000 HP. Once you're at this point, it's basically a guaranteed thing. But again, I say, the, the next phase, the core fight, it can just get so random. I really wish it would luck in that. Because, holy moly. I, I, team is just, doesn't have the healing. Like, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Some people are comfortable with it though. Going for that anti-life damage. And he's dead. It's over. Going to core. And I should say that we're, we're, we, anyone who is a racer in this race can join the Discord pretty much at any point if you want to, like, comments about your race. I know you're doing that already in the chat, but if Dipwood wants to join up at any point. <laughs> Give us his thoughts during this fight. <laughs> we need tips, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and getting the menu glitch. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, it's just that normally we do interviews after a live race. <laughs> it's an async, so we have new ideas. You can still join us. Everyone is welcome. Let's have a party. Yeah, okay. like five guys. Sound good. <laughs> or just homemade burger? I mean, those ones are the. Dipwood is just doing so much damage here. I I thought he might have a bit of a struggle with this team, but no. Right, if you can stay ahead of the damage that Lavos puts out, it's usually not difficult. It's when you have one little misstep and he's doing damage before you are that you have to yeah. find a way to get back ahead of him. I think, yeah, execution is really important in that regard. Fender is now revived. He might go Flare and Dark Matter here. Still going to be able to do damage to the right bit without getting that counter. Nope, just going straight for the other... I haven't been counting the HP, but I assume it's getting very, very close.
I don't know. It's 30,000, isn't it? 20,000 in jets. It's 30,000 in vanilla. This might do it right. No. One, uh, maybe one more hit, though. Holy moly. There it goes. Wow, that's just a fantastic run all around. Absolutely, GG. He made sacrifices early that we questioned and then they paid off, all paid off. I think it's a, it's a good lesson in like, go off Beetle, do your own thing. Like, <laughs> as you can see, all the other runners didn't do what Dipwood did, Dip, what Dipwood did was a little offbeat times. Having said that, Zelfer is very close behind, and he did go through Vegas Cap. See, our other runners are just a little bit further behind in that regard, but everyone is catching up pretty quick. You don't power up Grand Leon unless you have to. And you didn't actually. Do you know what? I like seeing it anyway, so I'm not going to tell them not to. Well, that's pretty fair. It would have been even better to see it have pulled to have uh, paid off better than it seems to have. And that is very true outside of a Legacy of Cyrus run. That's true. Now we see Tech is a little bit ahead. Hornet at least. Delfer is right into Lavos now. As long as he has good luck, he's going to be our in place. He's got some heal tech from Robo. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to watch a very different team. Very different. Right? Ornith is uh, through Magus now. He's flying around in 12,000. Tekanu. Like he's doing a bit of shopping. And they're both getting ready for their final emote here. Nipple lasers have been activated on Zelfer's screen. Tekkenu heading to Woe. Tekkenu. Alright. Making a shelter check. I will absolutely check that vendor myself. Just for the record.
All right, Selfer's got the arms down. Yeah, honestly, it can be actually a very good shot. It's got like, it's not a crappy shot. If it has a lot of things for sales, they can be good. Full tonics, mid ethers, stuff like that will go up there. I normally don't ever stop there unless I'm heading too low. Especially if you're missing something like heal, Something you never found in any other vendor? I would check it. So Zelfer has done that fight now. He's going to the core now. Oh my goodness. You have a whole different kind of fight to watch. It. I don't know if we're going to see such concentrated attacks on the right bit. We might see just a little more AOE, a little more health management. down that left bit pretty quickly there. Yeah, that's a solid play. Get the lift. If you can, get the left bit down as fast as you can. And then you can just go full AoE. Try and get that center bit down too. But if you can't do big physical attacks, then you have to focus on the center. It makes the fight a bit different. You know, that shock is not doing bad at all. Yeah, I think the next AOE is going to take care of that center bit. Little too late, but all he's getting here is Evil Star, so he's going to have everyone's... I'm gonna do a shock here. He might have to heal his team now. I don't know if he has a Mega Elixir or something in his sleeve. I didn't see. Yep, Mega Elixir. There we go. Like a whole new fight now, except you have an extreme advantage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, Sander bit is down. We're, we're getting close. Done a lot of damage. I mean, I'm not counting it, but I know it's a lot. Man, 
And there it goes. I'd say that's 149.25. Incredible. Both of our our top two here have had just incredible avos. I mean, we talked before about how crappy Lavos can fight and how random he is. But boy. But look at these two. They're in the exact same spots. Right, so now we have Tenu is uh, heading down Ocean Palace. Yeah, a dip would, I think that, that's a really good point. Like, you do Magus Castle well, you do it quick. It's a really legitimate way to get to go, get to the end. Corinth is going to continue to grind as Tekkenu progresses on. Yeah, now I didn't see uh, Tech News levels or Tech there. I, did did his Luca learn Flare? I'm not sure. So, dang, I don't think t had uh, and Corinth was talking. <laughs> That's my fault. I'm gonna have to switch the. I need to do a couple more. Actually, I kind of like that. I might, I, I could, we could take a little break now. Corinth is going to do it. So dark matter is guaranteed. I think if I redo this one fight, I'm good. All right, that's three dino tails. Yeah, the streams are so this quiet is 80, 60, by that's, default. 140. Um, another 60 is 200. That's dark matter. Elevator fight is another 100 ish. I think I'm good. I think I can just go down from here. I don't think I have to grind anymore. I do have to keep Ayla in the party though to make these fights. Actually, no, you know what? I bet I don't. I bet Dark Mist will do enough now. <laughs> so this means Robo gets full uh, experience and tech points towards Uzi Punch. Although I'm 
probably not unlock the Lizzie Punch. We've unlocked Corinth. Luke is gonna have to fire two because Magus has no mana. More like game minus. Come on, Dipwood. Be a little more friendly than that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we, let's get back to the commentary. <laughs> Heck is actually on the elevator right now, taking care of that fight. There's dark matter, so I'm 200 tech points Coming away. Coming with frog being powered up. If I need to grind, uh, because like the boss doesn't give me enough tech points or something, there is an option to take on the uh, scouters repeatedly. I, I kind of like this. Okay, More of this back here. in for this elevator ride. Give her an ether. We're going to check this, also get the tech points out of it. And yeah, that's what we were talking about before. Is so using Dino Tail. Tail. We're all good there. Oh wow, Corneth is just caught up so that. quickly. That's nice. Akinu is still on the uh, elevator. Get above 45. That's enough tech points to make the ride. Wow. Hornet just caught up so much. Just by using Dino Tail. Or whatever, like. Akinu is struggling. He doesn't have it. That's what I mean. I think we're about to see Corinth just take the. I really do. And I apologize. I don't know. What do you think, Silver Neo 82? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Corinth just left out in front. He's about to just accelerate into a victory. Pretty sure. I don't know. This has a little bit of a better team composition. And let's just say that powering up Frog is not gonna make the biggest difference in the world when you when you could use different character altogether. I don't know. Oh I deleted my There's nose frog. Flare, which also means uh Omega Flare is unlocked. Yep, corn just completely caught up. Tekanu not getting the skip, not getting the scout skip. Might fight him. Is getting the blue rock. Oh wow, Corneth is going to use blue rock. He's going to go for. He's <laughs> he's going to go for a mega flare. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. There it is. Got the scout skip. Right. Uh, a lot of people and have been asking, how ahead. do you do this skip? Uh, the trick, as I know it, you get on the edge of the carpet here, run at the corner. That'll get you in. When you're coming out, you walk out, take a right turn at a direct right angle. Do not walk down at all. Just walk alongside while they're spreading. And once you take three nice or four steps, then you can it. run down and not get caught. But you have to walk to the right, like four steps before you can run. Yeah, it's a weird thing. You have to like walk against. You have to walk One right against that corner. Crisis arm. 
And even though you're walking right, it'll actually still push you down. There's a lot no, of... There's a lot of coins and... Do that. Kind of like the uh, ladder up on that. It is technically an upgrade. Um, Gear-wise... That's fine. Hello, Massamoon! And the double Massamoon Dual Massamoons! Ow. This tech doesn't exist. I don't know what's happening on my screen. I can't see anything. Man, those hit like a truck. They really do. Now the downside is, now that I've done this, uh, Robo and Mag, actually everyone's kind of in death range. Oh, someone actually doesn't have enough MP. Wow. Uh, heal beam. Since we're going to wait through a cycle anyway. I'm pretty sure there is only one uh, Masamune left. I managed to... S they have the same HP, I assume, and I managed to have RNG give me only one left. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't understand why he didn't do another... Yeah, that is... That's interesting. It looks like he's uh he's through the Golem twins now and Hornet is gonna head uh, off. Tekken is still dealing with them, but they are neck and neck now. Yeah, I just think Corinth has more damage. Alright. Let's go. Absolutely. I think Tekken thought he would have the best damage. He doesn't. The unfortunate thing. That should be plenty. Uh, yeah, Zuka has a uh, fire too, but no flare. Save. I might be short on MP to do Omega Flare like I want. Well, Tech might be I mean, missing tech that shall not be named. Omega Flare. Or, sorry, he might be missing Flare. But Although, if honestly, he... there's no reason to use Omega Flare on the... Uh, if Technu gets flare here, fire tackle and he didn't get flare here, so now it's so yeah. So you can time it out so that you get flare after that fight, and that's fine. But unfortunately, that did not happen here. I went through there so quick I couldn't see how much he had left for flare. Yeah. I didn't check. Oh, we'll see what happens. It's a really unfortunate situation. But he's the only one who's actually trying to use or use that Luca Marl team. And Frog. Well, we'll Oh boy. This is going to be well, another. You think about it, though, it should be a good damage dealing with Antipo three and Frog's heal. But uh, does he have Antipo three? No, because he doesn't have There's flare. Four thousand damage already. Took a reset. I did not equip any of my amulets, so hopefully this isn't too bad. 
I think I would have at least just Sleep. gone That's for all right. it. Although I lost. I mean, he's really got to get fire. Fight, which is annoying. Going to get maybe. He needs. I mean, yeah, the fight's going to take longer, but you could, it's still possible. So maybe this is a bit of what I was talking about earlier. In earlier versions of the game, you could calculate. You needed a certain amount of tech points. I probably have to heal beam. To get flare, and you could rely uh, on golem twins giving you that, but now you can't, because it's random. Maybe he went for that. I don't. Magus doesn't need to survive this. He doesn't need a level necessarily. We're just gonna nuke it. Corinth put me into life smackdown on Lovis. Why Lobos? Got a slasher out of it. A Tekanu, it's all learning process sometimes. Man, it really stinks that I'm gonna. I'm considering using that. Uh, heal beam. Heal beam. But usually, uh, if I see Flirt man, coming up if, at, if Luca at the last, I'll switch MP. out my team members and go a whole different technique. I've got three mega lectures. I know what I do. Because trying to come up with six or seven hundred tech points, yeah, just takes too long. Turn one. It, I mean, it Drop adds time to your run, but and a mega elixir. Could it could help you avoid a lavos? Then bed. round two, Omega Flare. Actually, it might be straight up Omega Flare. Let's see how much. Because Magus survives regardless. So this is not a potential wipe. Or we just remove the arm outright. Less than 285 damage, please. Thank you. I, got, I love how it's Corinth cool. is commentating now. Thought it would be bad, like it would be an unprofessional way to stream, but now I can just ask. He just does. <laughs> I can't hear any of it. All right, we're honestly. about to be put to sleep. Which is terrible because I'm going to lose both Rubble and Magus's turns. Shadow Slay wakes us up. Yeah, that's true. I think we should deduct 30 minutes off his time just for that. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a bonus. We were getting 35 with uh, Omega Flare. Dark Matter plus Fire Tackle gives us... Corinth just shutting down all this. Yeah, he is taking a little long, I would say, because he did Everyone's eat that right. Shadow Doom Blaze just now. Barely. And no one died, but... But you do want to kill him before that happens. 
And he's just going to go for it instead of healing, too. Yeah, yeah he's got to be so close to death. And he can do a menu glitch right after. Yeah, but running the risk of missing that glitch. All right, got an elixir, another gold earring. That's nice. Yeah, it depends how confident you are. I have no confidence in my ability to hit that menu glitch. None whatsoever. If I hit it, it's by accident. Now, truth of the matter is, Omega Flare is not going to be great for uh, the next phase of Lavos. So I may ditch the uh, Gold Rock, or ditch the Blue Rock. All right, maybe skip. It's been two months, and I still hit it. Wait for screen to turn black. Okay. Hit tonics across the board. Uh, full ether, full ether. You're fine. Uh, do I change any of this? I'd be worried about not having anything more than three full ethers going into the fight, though. Yeah, I know what you mean. Especially if you don't whip studs. I don't know if he has studs. Yeah, Not going for okay. Fire tackles and dark matters. Okay. Fire tackles and dark matters. Alright, Lavo's core, let's see it. Let's count us some HP. Surprised there wasn't an Omega Flare there. 32. <laughs> Fire Tackles and Dark Matters by Corinth. 52, One third. Another Fire Tackle might actually take down the Cinnabeth. If it doesn't, I followed up with a dark bomb. Well, we'll happens. see what happens there, Tech New. No one knows what's going to happen, right? That's pretty nice. Uh, the uh, Luca Robo combination over on Corinth screen, really doing a lot of work. You could reposition Robo as well. Get get him where Luca is, and you could do double V bomb and maybe even do more damage. That's close. 5,000 plus another 2,000, so we're at 7,000 damage. Two thousand. One thousand. <laughs> like Corinth just went for a flare, and I'm gonna say this flare is gonna kill the center. Luca's about to. Nope, I was wrong. The next attack, though. Hopefully. And there goes the center bit again. <laughs> Never do math on stream, Brocky. Magus now has no MP. 
Hyper Ether on you. <laughs> if I had put Robo in the rightmost slot, I guess I could be doing double V-Bomb. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, right? Um, some cool ideas, actually. Yeah, it's never really done unless Pennant or Gatekey usually ends up there. Or, or at least Pennant. That's time. Oh, there we go. A very terrible two hours and 15 minutes. I am not happy with that. But I also spent about 15 minutes fighting Dalton Corn. Plus and failing repeatedly. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset. Dalton Plus is going to die. I wonder if Corinth will join us for a post-game interview. We'll just have to see. After all that time, and take I am not leaving this scene. Getting until into he's Lavos. Dead. Corn's going for the Dalton Plus. <laughs> And I swear, if he's holding the freaking ruby knife, why do I have the ruby knife in my inventory? Okay. Um, that's an odd thing about the tracker, apparently. Clearing Magus Castle gives you the ruby knife on tracker? Question mark? That's a good question, Corinth. Uh, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. So, <laughs> here's the problem. Ekanu didn't do audio, no audio on his wanted to hear him technically has been around since for a long time he made an early even before emo tracker had a tracker for us technically tracker was what we all use he's been around forever as long as he races and puts his videos up i'm gonna feature him whatever just kill it I don't care about these balls. These but things. I'm going to implore him to have audio. He is at Live House now, though. So it's not like he's like crazily. Okay, you're wearing a blue rock, that's fine. We're gonna put a tab invest on you so you have more speed. You're wearing a dash ring, you're wearing a resurrection gear. Good. And here comes the revenge fight. I think we can make this even with audio.
Oh, little early. That's funny. Uh, Corinth really felt salty about Dalton. <laughs> yeah. And now he's going to find the ruby nut too. And he's going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> And revenge success. <laughs> oh, I should, uh, a whole bunch of fires. It's probably priceless. One of the first times that I try it, I don't go through Magus's castle, and this is like a 145 seed. Uh, top time, Dipwood or Chocolate Syrup? Checking it up against Lavos Core. 38 minutes. Let's go see. Yeah, even though he has slash frog Grand Leon going for the center, I actually I would advise you do that maybe in this case. Well, if he can down him and avoid the heavy AOE, you're gonna go after the left bit. You want to make sure it goes down in like one turn. So like if you have like Robo, Chrono, Ayla with a lot of physical, then do that. But otherwise, go for the center. It's a good point, Dipwood. Bringing up the animations. Some animations just take longer than others. And you have to figure out which ones work the best for your theme and which animation. Ooh, it's a harsh combo there. And again, luckily, it's a evil star. We saw one of those earlier. All it does is have you. Not, not the work. He gets to go right into that. Front. Ooh, but Luca. Ouch. This is where you're trying to keep up with the damage now instead of being ahead of the damage. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if Lavos starts changing time periods again. Or starts slapping. Or starts slapping. At this point, all you want to do is get rid of that center bit.
chaos status. And risking the AOE. I am compensating a little bit for the fact that Akinu didn't have audio on. So, sorry about that audio. Lavos is not dead. But he will be soon. That 900 heal every time though, oof. There's that OP heal I was talking about. And there, of course, we see if you AOE kill the center, you will have to eat a counterattack. It looks like he's well set up for Got the shield up. Oh, he's, do he's going for it again. Or is he trying to overheal the left bit? He's gonna eat that, that counter, but he's got shield. So he's gonna survive it, and he's gonna up. The solid strategy. And now we can go do the same thing and not face those after attack. Now that center bit is resurrected, he can still be doing antipode three damage to the right bit uh, without having to those counter attacks. And here we go. Yeah, we're definitely very close now according to the according to the music. Using the music instead of your math now. Well yeah. I could also do the sound effects. Swing swing swing. I don't know if people like that. it's probably not. Wow, he has got to be very close. I was wondering if he was going to get that last heal in on Marl before the Antipode 3 came out. Okay, you know, I gotta say, like, even though Tech News run here is like, you know, for this, we, we have a lot of racers. We have to pick who to show. Tech News not last place, like, on the ladder or whatever, but the, the point is, I'm trying to say is he did nothing that wrong. Didn't have to redo lap. 
you know, I thought when I saw all of our racers going to Lavos, I kind of expected one Lavos reset at least. And we haven't seen any. So, anyway, there we go. 230.08. And GG. Right, despite going to the ruins and up the elevator again, he's still middle of the pack, which is not a bad place to be. Yeah, and a two hour 30 time is good, not bad. Like, when I first started playing this randomizer, my times were like four, five, six hours. So. I still remember the nightmare of my very first one being seven, seven and a half hours. Point is, don't feel bad. And if it takes five, because you can nail it down to about two, three hours. And it's fun to play through a seat, get it done. Yeah. Anyway. Great race, everyone. Thank you, Silver Neo, for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was fun. And thanks for everyone joining us in chat. Um, thanks to the racers. And once again, thanks to PseudoArt for uh, the tracking. Well, good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Have a great one. <laughs>